Hello, today we will talk about system LV2 requirements, validation and verification via 3D kinematic simulation leveraging uh, open standard functional mockup interface for the connectivity. Perhaps this is one of the few, maybe first sample when we actually execute SysML simulation in V2 and we are executing actual evaluation running test cases with robotic arm configuration. So as you can see here, there is requirement uh, with the uh, requirement text uh, system shall reach safe position in less than max time. We have max time, we have uh, positions uh, in the different arm configurations and we have verification uh, satisfy requirement uh, and then this verification case. And uh, we can execute each of them one by one or we can execute all of them at once and uh, we run them and we receive the time which takes robotic arm to actually reach the safe position from different configurations. As you can see here, the last one. See those two passed because the time it was two seconds and this one failed and now let's uh, clear results and let's uh, select all of them and run one in one duration. Okay, so here we see execution working and actually communication is uh, established. Uh, now let's take a look what is this uh, in more detail. So we have here system, system is robotic arm, right? This is that robotic arm for the big uh, fusion reactor. Uh, and we have requirement. This requirement is actually derived from the standard, the standard for the mobile remotely controlled systems for nuclear and radiological applications, general requirements. And those requirements are talking that uh, we need to be careful uh, human uh, in the loop scenarios that uh, if something happens we need to return safely to the uh, environment uh, of robot uh, where it will not harm anyone and we derive from those requirements and we implement uh, our logic uh, for that robotic arm to return now here we have uh, requirement requirement has subject as you can see here uh, attributes uh, like uh, max time to safe position actual time to safe position and the condition that uh, co required constraint that max time should be more than actual time and then we have verification case to test that and then we have uh, different configurations of robot uh, where it exists uh, and uh, then we uh, have satisfy requirement uh, in each of configuration to execute that uh, and uh, get result. Now, uh, how this uh, executes and what is result, uh, how result is received. So here we have solution architecture. We have Katia Magic version 2026, uh, which is the first public commercial release of the SSML v2 with the, as you can see here, requirements uh, evaluation already. And we have the sample which performs uh, action model evaluation for requirements validation and verification. We are sending through Groovy script during the execution. That's like native KTM Magic capability. Uh, test case ID. So we don't really implement the test case logic internally because we don't want to override uh, dedicated tools uh, capability to specify simulations and we just uh, in our cases robot simulation specify test cases but we are sending test case ids to intermediate or python script which converts id to the udp signal triggers uh, through that uh, number of test case uh, one on another scenario and then 3d simulation Kinematic simulation, uh, Delmia robot simulation performs uh, kinematic simulation, test case execution, and collision detection on top of that. And we are using open standard FMI. So from the Katia Magic side, if we will uh, right click here, go to open the code, uh, it's kind of important to see that actually here we have the code executed Groovy script, which triggers this test case uh, sent uh, and result received. And here we have delay between uh, each uh, test is one second in order to have safe return time you know for the 
uh, virtual system uh, and we can increase this if we see that the one test uh, overlaps with another test but that's pretty much it and then we have a different configuration we have also a table which we don't use here and uh, different configurations as you see here those different uh, robot arms uh, and that's it now let's go to the um, robot simulation side let's go to the robot simulation side as you can see here it could run continue running right but uh, let's stop the execution let's go to the uh, different scenarios and first of all that we execute this uh, uh, program it has three different uh, scenarios three different test cases based on the property received from fmi so for fmi the standard here is this fmu it is uh, attached to this uh, uh, robot and here we go and here we have mapping so we trigger the test case received uh, a number and then we get result back uh, coming to to katia magic so result is the time we trigger with the number right now uh, here are those uh, specific cases so here is the first one right uh, if the triggers one then we execute this program and then we get result uh, a result is actually just uh, uh, marking the time you know that we would uh, know when it finished uh, and then here's another one we see two and then there's the last one three yeah and uh, we can actually now uh, filter it right uh, it is uh, the little one robot uh, here not filtered but like uh, zoomed out like we can zoom in and see how big is that robot right uh, and also we can show this in context here we have context apply yeah here you see this is that robot right and the reactor right and uh, there is no problem to execute it inside of this reactor we just don't see it you know if it is hidden by something and we can actually apply here set as uh, set as active state now this one is active state so now we can go here execute okay it's running now minimize this view move it here even here yeah and then get the magic and then clear results clear and then run testing again Okay, so that was the demonstration and uh, more will come in the future. And again, this is one of the first uh, kinematic simulation together with SysML V2.